Uh, John, it's great news, isn't it? When did you find out that this was happening? Uh, it's been quite quick. It was just, I think it was end of last week. Um, had a chat with uh, David Oldsworth and told us about it and straight away I was happy and wanted to get it done. I mean, we know, having seen it happen, that you've not taken much time to think about this. It's somewhere you're happy to be, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. As I think it was the Friday we were travelling, I got told about it, and within the Sunday it was sort of all done and done and signed. So I was just wanted to get it done and get out of the way because I want to be here and it's nice to have a, a future here and be backed by everyone. Sounds like a cliche, but is it good just to be able to concentrate on the football? Yeah, definitely, because it's one of them when you know you're here and you're getting back and you just concentrate on your football and there's no worries elsewhere off the pitch you can just concentrate on what you're doing on it. I know it's a bit of a joke amongst the lads, the relationship between you and the manager, but it is important to have something like that, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously you can get a bit of stick, but it's what every player wants. You want to get back by a manager and you know, let you go out there and do your thing. So to have that's a nice feeling and um, to be back like this is just what I want. I don't think it's the right thing to say you were drifting a little bit, but to go from that change that you had from defender to midfield, it sparked unbelievable yeah I think I was drifting I was kind of stuck there like obviously I see you're going to get released so to then have that chance like a second chance and see some it was you know I'm very thankful to the gaffer and the club and everyone for backing it and obviously I haven't looked back and want to keep doing it and progressing and bringing my game on I've asked you about it before but that conversation when the gaffer says you're in midfield what, what was going through your head that was a weird one I think we just turned up and I seen it on the sheet and a couple of lads are laughing but I say it was just another chance to do something and have a bit of fun. That's all I kind of thought at the time was a bit of fun. I wasn't playing, just go out there and do what I can and look at it well for the best. I know when you first started in that position in the first team, you were frustrated with yourself for not taking chances, but you seem to have just grown into the role. Yeah, definitely, because I think I always back myself to get in their positions and get the chances, so then not finishing was a bit... Obviously, it was a... just wanted to get out of the way and show I could do it. Then once I got the first one, I think it's just flowed and... You know, you don't have to worry about that anymore and just hope I can keep getting them and maybe he's getting double figures again this year, that's the goal. We've watched it, John, your confidence has just grown over the past 12, 18 months in particular. Yeah, definitely. I think at first it was, it was tough because I had to get used to the position and obviously I still am, but I'm starting to find my feet more and once I'm doing that I can bring on other things in my game and keep on progressing them. So it's just about just keep playing really, just get as many games as I can and learn as much as I can. It's the energy you bring to the role as well, that's something the manager always praises as you find something you do, isn't it? You just run all day. Yeah, I think that's the main thing, I think that's why I got put in the position because I just love to run and it's just I can't help myself but do it and that's when I cover as much grass as I can and get in people's faces and you know, if that's what the gaff wants us to do, I'll do it. One of the top scoring midfielders across European football in the end. Absolutely amazing to, to be able to say something like that. Yeah, it was a weird one when I seen it in the in the pit, but I kind of backed myself to get a few, but not that many. And obviously, it's just a nice feeling. Hopefully, I can keep doing it. What was it like when you got your first one for this season? Because you've done that. That's in the past now. It's great to have on your CV, but you've got to go again. So when you hit the net for the first time, how did it feel? That was a really nice feeling. It was like a weight off the shoulders again because obviously last year all my goals were without fans so it was sort of like going again like getting that first one in front of fans and I think that was what was holding us back a bit that wanting to get that first one in front of fans so once I got it I think again it was just a weight off the shoulders and it felt easy after that and I got another one. You can see the change in the confidence last season when we said set yourself a target very cagey you've already said in this interview double figures let's go again. Yeah now I've got it once I want to back myself to do it again and I think that that's the goal I think for any midfielder who wants to score you want to get in that double figure so if I can do it again or get as close as I can. We've touched on the role, John, the, the back and forward, box to box type midfielder. How much do you enjoy that? I love it. I just love running for some reason. I've always been able to do it uh, since I've been young. So just people have that freedom and being taught to do it, it's just, it's nice. And the fans that they've got on board with it, you do get criticism from some fans. What's that like for a player when you know you're working your heart out? It is hard, but you've just got to take it. You know, you can't please everyone. And the way I play, maybe it isn't going to please a lot of people because it's just not appealing on the eye. But I like to think I do all the dirty work and all that stuff and people can appreciate it but you do get your you know, your comments against you but it doesn't, doesn't affect you, you just got to get on with it. And the good thing is that we know when we release this news most of the comments, 99% of the comments are going to be really, really supportive and, and, and welcoming of the fact that you're staying with us. Yeah, I hope so because I want to be here and I want my future here and it feels good, I think everything's right as soon as I got had that chat I just, everything felt right, there's there was no reason not to do it and just can't wait to obviously have it signed now and just get on with it. I've got to ask you about Saturday. John, what's that like for a, a player to go through that? It was hard. Um, probably one of the lowest points yet, but you know, I backed all all the lads to, to get through. And I think 
similar thing happened last season. I think it's just clicking again, and once we do, which I know it will, we'll, we'll push on and do very well. What did you all say to each other this morning, for example, first training session back? I know you were all together yesterday, but first real training session back, what do you say to each other? Just a case of not panicking. Like I say, with the last year we lost the first three games. We got battered, I think, then when we kind of just regrouped after that and we knew what we're good at. And I think that's what the message is now, just going back to what we're good at and sticking with it and we'll come through it. There is a belief in that dressing room, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Everyone's still in a good mood. And like I say, we're not panicking. It's just been a bad weekend, a bad couple of results. And all it takes is one good result to, to come back. And it's probably... Playing top of the league is probably the best one. You say not panicking, looking ahead to March, and there's a little baby on the way. Have you started panicking about that yet? No, not yet. It's a bit. Probably hasn't sunk in yet. Um, it's been quite busy. There's been a lot to do. Like yesterday was my day off, but we're pram shopping, so there's a lot to do, a lot to get. But I'm just uh, enjoying it, and I'm excited, and I can't wait for it. And again, being part of a football club, you know your roots are here now. You're almost becoming an adopted Cumbrian. That, that's that's nice, isn't it? Just to be able to, to plan your immediate future. That's what I mean. It's perfect to have a future here close to home and just be able to settle. Just Everything just fits together. It's where I want to be.